Hello people and welcome to another Planetside 2 video. I hope you're all doing good. My name is Matthias and this is going to be my first real tutorial about flying the ESFs in Planetside 2. Now, ESF is the acronym for Empire Specific Fighter. Being that they are Empire Specific, every Empire has a unique one. My favorite is the one of the Terran Republic. It's called the Mosquito. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you already knew that. And when it comes to upgrading these ESFs, I take basically the same path for all of them. I use the same weapons. It's the Vortec Rotary or Hailstorm as the primary and uh, for the secondary I use the Rocket Pods. I only use one loadout for my ESFs and whether or not I'm dogfighting or I'm focusing on air to ground, I don't change that. I use the same weapons and uh, the same upgrades. So obviously the rotor is called M18 for the Mosquito. I have some uh, ammo capacity upgraded and I use the infrared night vision scope. My magazine size is almost all the way upgraded. And for utility I use the decoy flares. I think most people would agree that this is the best one right now because of the uh, lock-on missiles. Now for defense slot I have composite armor. I choose composite armor a long time ago and I am very uncertain about uh, whether or not this is the best choice right now. When it comes to performance I went with hover stability airframe and I had a really hard time choosing this one as well. Now the choice of airframe has had a big impact on the way I fly and I will try to cover that as much as I can in this tutorial and also in some of the upcoming tutorials that I will uh, upload in the future. So with the rocket pods I have uh, ammo capacity all the way up on the Mosquito. I use the infrared optics and uh, I'm working on the uh, reload speed. So when it comes to flying in Planet 2, one of the more important things is to just be able to handle and maneuver your aircraft, especially in critical situations like this. You uh, will have to uh, quickly emergency land and repair your aircraft. So I'm going to go through control a bit. Also, aiming is a major part of the gameplay, just like in all first-person shooters, and uh, it's the same with ESFs. Uh, here I am completely out of rockets and I'm trying to pick off as many infantry players as possible with just using the uh, Vortex Rotary. I try to move around a bit uh, to stay away from hovering, because uh, it will make me a really easy target if I do. I'm trying to use the upwards thrust that I get from the hover stability airframe to my advantage. And also, uh, I know I mentioned this in an earlier video, but in case somebody missed it, I want to let you know that ammo sunderers and also repair sunderers, they will both uh, resupply and repair ESFs, so uh, keep that in mind. So now, if you are new to maneuvering your ESF, if uh, there are some new tricks you want to learn or uh, you just want to get better at controlling it, if you stay within the safety of the warp gate, uh, you can't die in here. And uh, just try to maneuver it, try to feel how to move your mouse in order to get the best, uh, best turns, best maneuverability, best responsiveness. Try to change between the camera views, uh, uh, shift between uh, first and third person view. And also try to get this uh, reverse maneuver going where you just uh, put the uh, ESF on one of the sides. One wing up, one wing down is the easiest way to do it. And then pull your mouse towards you as you hold in S. And don't worry too much about the laws of physics from planet Earth. They do not apply here. You should also be able to quickly find your target with, uh, with your guns, whatever gun you choose. I would suggest uh, that you use the rockets because uh, it's the easiest uh, way to see if you actually hit the target. You'll see the explosions and all that. So uh, just quickly try to aim on these uh, these pillars that surround the uh, warp gate. So just fire a little bit. Make sure that you can get your aim on the target quickly. And um, as you feel more and more comfortable with this, try to find uh, more ways of just target practicing. You can do this within the warp gate. And the reason why I want you to be able to hit the targets quickly is because when you are in combat situations as an ESF pilot, you will mostly be firing on moving targets. And it's important that you can readjust your aim to whatever happens in the combat situation. Another thing that I find really important as an ESF pilot is to be able to maximize your damage output. By uh, switching between the weapons while you're reloading, you'll be able to deal damage while the reloading animation takes place, like I'm doing here. So the way this works is that uh, once you fire your rockets from the rocket pods, you just need to make sure that you have started the reloading animation. Then you can switch to the rotary and fire away. And uh, when you switch back to the rockets, the, the clip will be fully loaded again. You can switch back and forward like that. The other thing that I want to show you with uh, what I'm doing right now is I think it's really important that you can be able to keep your aim on the target while moving around like I'm doing here 
and in this case having hover stability that gives you the vertical thrust or upwards thrust will give you much more movement than uh, it would have been with uh, a non-upgraded reaver or had you chosen another airframe. Now the vertical thrust is the strongest with the reaver and that can be very helpful in air to ground situations. I think it's the weakest for the site uh, which has caused a little bit of problems for me because of uh, my playstyle. Using vertical thrust uh, in, from the hover stability is something that can be really helpful in uh, these more intense combat situations where there is no way you can just fly over enemy uh, controlled territory because if you do you just get shut down instantly. In this situation here, I have to constantly go back behind cover. The area in front of me is completely full of uh, lock-on missiles and anti-air maxes. There is no way I can uh, push forward here. I'm basically just uh, trying to give air cover to my uh, my teammates here. And uh, I'm trying to deal damage from range. Because it's the only way I can fly here without being instantly shot down. Now when I fly the Mosquito, I basically follow the same kind of uh, playstyle that I do with the other two ESFs. But uh, the thing about the Mosquito is that it is faster and I can rely on its speed in a way that I can't do with the other two ESFs. Now the Mosquito also has higher fire rate and uh, higher projectile speed and that makes a big difference. So I take a quick peek here to see what's up and uh, there's a lot of anti-air. There is also a lot of lock-on missiles and I'm trying to avoid them as best as I can here. Uh, what you see me doing here as I'm uh, going against this lightning and a couple of infantry on the bridge this is extremely risky and uh, I try to avoid this for as, as much as possible I try to avoid hovering like that because it, uh, it will make you a very easy target but uh, it seemed okay for a while but I decided to move away take a quick peek up on the ridge here above crown I was able to pick off a couple of guys here uh, normally people feel pretty safe in that uh, area because they are covered from anti-air but uh, I got a couple of uh, rockets off and uh, then after that I decided to reposition because as much as I see us pushing towards uh, the crown from TI alloys I also see the uh, NC players are trying to go in the opposite direction and uh, luckily I was able to uh, stay away from the anti-air during this time here and I was able to uh, spam some rockets on this uh, lightning. I also try to keep constantly in motion here in order to not be an easy target for the heavy assaults and uh, even the lightning itself. So if you haven't tried uh, kiting back and forward in like this in order to uh, avoid hovering, I, I recommend it. That's one of the things that is kind of funny with hover stability is that uh, it gets its name obviously because it's supposed to make it easier to hover and that's supposed to be a uh, an upgrade. But uh, I don't consider hover stability being an upgrade in itself. The upgrade from hover stability uh, from the hover stability airframe is definitely the vertical thrust and also air brakes is actually quite useful. But uh, being able to hover is not something you want to do. It's, uh, in that case, it's actually almost more like a drawback. And try not to get used to it. I know that in the beginning, it really helps that uh, you're able to just stand still in the air. And it makes it uh, obviously easier to hit the target. But uh, I, I recommend stay away from that. Be able to find and uh, keep your aim on the targets while moving around. Now anyway, for the future, I'm planning on coming out with more videos like this, more tutorials and stuff like that. So please feel free to ask questions and um, whatever you uh, want me to cover in the future, uh, let me know. Uh, what I am planning on uh, coming out with is a tutorial that is more about air-to-air, -air, more about dogfighting. Um, I think there are a lot of people who are interested in that uh, and I'm going to do that using the same weapons and upgrades as I've had in uh, this video. I'm not going to change my loadouts in any way or upgrades or weapons or anything. I will be using the Vortex Rotary, I will be using the Rocket Pods. Some of you have seen my dogfighting videos before. Uh, they are similar in terms of upgrades and weapons. But I haven't made a tutorial about it before so uh, I'm going to try to cover that in the future. In the near future, hopefully, I have almost like 20 videos of uh, ESF, uh, either dogfighting or air to ground or a combination of it, that type of video on this channel. So uh, there's more coming, definitely. Another thing that I am planning on covering, which is a lot harder, is to uh, put the team play aspect into it. Team working with other pilots and uh, even more importantly with uh, people on the ground. This is extremely important and uh, I will cover it. So anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. 
and uh, that's all bye for now Robin Luntz and Alex Tax. I wonder if he knows that. Estimated playtime per week 30, 30 what? 30 minutes? 30 seconds? 30 hours? 30 days in a week? He's got multiple bodies. This guy has passed out. His cap's not. So. I know guns and mo from Battlefield. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, wizard. Firstly, though, I think we got most mostly British people. Anyone who disagrees with me is allowed to, but they'll kill them anyway. Shush. 
I don't think we're going to join us now. For a while now, I don't think we're going to join us now. If you turn on, I don't know if you have one, if you turn on the, put like, the little flags by two names and settings. I have it. Man, the close to the torsion part, the torsion kicking part is still up. Well, it will be. We don't, we don't delete posts unless they're really offensive or by you. Hard, hard, hard. That was quite good. Getting down with the old back talk there. Actually, we've got quite a few Belgians. We've got like five or six Belgians. Hostile lightning tank yeah. spotted. Yeah, that's why I like it. I actually install all the Belgians as well, so it's kind of like a quite a cheap shot. Yeah, you don't have to go. I'm a true Belgian. Belgians don't get it. This is the is there a reason why she gets so many views? Really? Boobs. Boobs. Can someone tell me? Not not the fact that she was wearing a shirt that was nearly busting open. The buttons were like, yeah, out of here. <laughs> yeah, they really went out of there. Good cap it though. Yeah, but the the two the Nothing because they got. Oh, we have no, we have the most. Yeah, but they kept the most population. Yeah. Yeah, but they have tiny pillars. I tell you what, if we what ever wanted, that? assuming the continent's neutral now, it'd be, it wouldn't be that hard to actually cap it. I want to get No. There'll be tears. Pillars, pillars uh, this jump hole, there'll be us. Yes. There's your avatar. It's gonna uh, be intense all over your face. At the stronghold, it'll be a VS tank, uh, VS guys, and then two tanks are going to be uh, PR tanks. So, yeah. Oh, those assholes are losing copper ravine. No. Fuck. Spotted a hostile minute. Yeah, fucking hell, let them push, let them push. Yeah, uh, VS are taking cover of being right now. 